Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we will be exploring share preferences in Flutter. A simple yet powerful way to save user preferences, settings, and other lightweight data locally. Imagine you have added an amazing new dark theme to your Flutter app. Everything is great until you realize that each time you launch the app, it reverts to the default theme. The dark theme preference isn't safe anywhere, so it don't persist. You can choose to store the dark theme preference in server, but that feels like overkill for a simple boolean flag. In this case, try out Share Preferences. Share Preferences stores data on local device storage in key value pairs. Data may be persisted to this asynchronously, which no guarantee that writes will be persisted after returning. So avoid storing critical data in Share Preferences. Now let's dive into the code. In this tutorial, I will be using this shared preferences package that you can find in pub.dev. Add this package dependency into your Flutter project. So in my emulator, I have created a Flutter app with a text field widget and three buttons, save, load, and delete. Now I will be creating the logic for each button on press function. Let's start with save operation. In order to save data into shared preferences, firstly, we have to create an instance of shared preferences using getInstant method. It's an asynchronous operation, so make sure you add the async keyword. After we initialize the instance, we can now store data using setString method from the instance. This method accepts a key and a value data. In the text field above, I have assigned a text editing controller to it. So we will store the key as email and the value as the input from the text field. We can get the text field input using controller.text. Now when this function executes, it will store this key value pair to the device storage. That's it for store data to shared preferences. Next comes to load data from shared preferences. Again, firstly, we have to get the shared preferences instance. So in the save button above, we store a string value, so to load that value, I will create a nullable string variable and load the data using getString method. This method requires a string key value. So we store the key as email above, so we need to pass in the same key value to the getString method, which is email. With this key, it knows which value to return, and in this case, it's the text field input. This variable has to be nullable, as getString method would return null if the key is not found in the device storage. For tutorial purposes, I will just print the loaded value to the console. That's it for load button. Lastly, comes to the delete button. Firstly, get the share preferences instance. In order to delete the key value pair stored in the local storage, we can call the remove method from the instance. This remove method requires a key string value, so it knows which key value pair to remove. Since we store the email key above, we will delete the email key here. As of now, we have completed save, load, and delete operation in Flutter share preferences. Now, let's try it out in the emulator. For example, I input a sample email and click on the save button. Next, when I click on the load button, 
you can see it printed out my sample email in the console. Then I click on the delete button and re-click on the load button. You can see it printed out now. This is because when I click on the delete button, the key value pair is removed, hence no result found and it returns now. Lastly, the key feature of shared preferences is that when I close and rebuild the app, When I click on the load button, my sample email still printed out as it's stored in the device storage. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.